Hello everybody, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands. Today I decided to take you in my backyard. Um, first, it's a really beautiful day. It's still warm enough to be sleeveless. And probably I'm a little bit nostalgic of the summer that just went by. I don't really have much time to go outside in the summer because it's my busy season. That's when I sell my soaps and that's when all the tourists are around. But today, um, that was just an airplane going over my head. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Anyway, so today the kids are at daycare and I had a class this morning. And I have the rest of the afternoon off. And since I received something special in the mail last week, last Friday, um, I thought it was about time that I show it to you guys. So I've been in contact with the really nice owner of the company uh, Nurture Soap Supplies. She's the one who makes the rainbow micas and the vibrance micas. You may have seen them uh, on the internet, on her website. I will leave some links below. <clears throat> so she has sent me this five pound wooden mold with a plexiglass um, top to insulate your soap and it has got a five pound uh, silicone soap liner inside. So I will take a few minutes to tell you about the features of this mold and then I will take you back inside the soap shop and we will make some soap with it. Here it is, the silicone loaf soap mold. It's perfect for larger batches of melt and pour, hot or cold processed soaps. Um, I've been told that it's in stock and ready to ship to you pretty quickly. You can see that there's no hardware and that the pieces just slip on and off just by, by hand. There's no screws to or, to, or anything to tighten. When you buy it, you will receive a free sample of the micas of your choice and you can see there that there's a clearance of about one inch from the silicone liner that is allowing you to make a topping on your soap and then you can just slide the top on to insulate your soap. Uh, the silicone is food grade and you can also use it in the oven to uh, seep up your soaps. The fruit that is right there, this nice red fruit, let me grab one. Okay. So those are, I think in English they are called rose hip, which is the fruit of these wild roses. And if I press on it, you can see that it is really mushy and gooey. And you can make a nice puree with this fruit, which is full of antioxidants. It's rich in vitamin C. And I will be using this puree to make a cinnamon sugar soup. Hello, I'm just about getting to get ready to make my cinnamon sugar soap using my Nurture Soap Supply silicone soap mold. It's the five pound um, silicone liner that has been offered to me by the owner of Nurture Soap Supply. And I just wanted to show you uh, what I'm using for the soap. So right here I have my oil mixture that's cooling down. I'm going to be soaping at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I've prepared my colorants. So in here I have a mix of the pink and red rainbow micas, also from Nurture Soap Supplies. That's the red. And here I have some cappuccino mica. And in here I have my titanium dioxide mixed with water. <clears throat> This is my rose hip puree that I've previously showed you. Uh, the scent I'm going to be using today is Cinnamon Sugar by Brambleberry. It is so heartwarming. I love this one. I made a cupcake with this fragrance about two weeks ago and I just totally fell in love with it. I just needed to make a whole bar of it. <clears throat> so I've pre-measured pre my fragrance oil and yeah. I'm just waiting for my oils to cool and we'll be soaping. I think it was a Friday, just a regular Friday. I was all by myself.
Now, for those of you who like to seep up your uh, cold processed soaps, I will show you that this mold is perfect for, uh, this one is, this mold is perfect, excuse my French, <laughs> to fit in the standard oven. Uh, I'm, I will not be uh, using C-pop for this soap, I just wanted to show you that you can actually do it. But, since I have been told <clears throat> this mold is supposed to be uh, thick enough and with the cover on, like this, it's supposed to be thick enough with the cover on to insulate the soap by itself. You shouldn't be using a towel or anything. And I'll just set it on the counter. It's a pretty warm day today. It's about 15 degrees outside, 20 degrees in the house. So I will put it on the counter and let it rest until tomorrow. And then I will be back with you to unmold and cut the soap. Good morning. So we're back today with this soap that has um, cured overnight and is now down to room temperature. I will unmold the soap. It's the cinnamon sugar and rose hip puree soap that I made yesterday in Nurture Soap Supplies 5 pound silicone mold. I will unmold the soap to show you how easily or not it comes out of this mold. I guess you'll see the results in the same time as I discover them. So let's take a look. So, what can I say about Nurture Soap Supply 5 pound silicone soap mold? First, I can say thank you to Miss Carrie Thornsbury who uh, nicely sent it to me as a gift up here in Canada. So, thank you. Also, I would like to say that this soap, this soap mold is very easy to use, very easy to assemble and to disassemble. You can see that the side just slip off. The only concern I had was um, this little stain here was caused by some raw soap. Ugh, I accidentally spilled it on, on the wooden box because when you do swirls and design, well, sometimes you get messy and anyways, that, that kind of happens. I tried to scrub it and remove it, but it would not come off and I'm just wondering in the long term, could it damage the box? Maybe Nurture Soap Supplies could give us some tips on that. And um, another thing is this uh, soap mold is very easy to handle. When you hold the the outer sides, these sides, you can see that they are really secured. There's three screws on each side, making it really strong. And uh, unmolding the soap was also very easy. You could see that it just sort of popped out, and the edges were pretty sharp. Sometimes when you use uh, taller silicone soap mold liners, it kind of creates a suction, and you have to struggle and fight with the soap mold. And sometimes doing so, you damage your soap bar if it's a little too soft. This one came out really nicely. Uh, so yeah, if you're in the US and you'd like to buy a couple uh, larger soap molds, this one is a really good choice. I'm talking to you in the US because up here in Canada, well, this one was sent to me as a gift, but if you buy it from another country, usually we'll have taxes and customs to pay that will upper your fees and transport is pretty high lately. So, yeah, um, really nice mold, really nice design. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, have fun making soap. Bye-bye.